Hi, my name is Hilda Zelkin, and I'm the author of Blue Mountain Mist. I am doing another insert today. Today's insert is Cluster 3, Part 2. Now, in Part 1, it had to do with only one particular person. In Part 2, we talk about the overview of the entire globe's involvement in it. So, it starts like this. Um, how? Where should we start? We can start here. Now, in here somewhere... China designs a rail line, which is one of the most fantastic, brilliant things anybody can possibly do. From UK to China, in two days, you can go by rail. There's a problem, though. That rail line merges uh, land masses together. It's able to extract from the United States. It's able to extract from the globe and bring it into China. Um... By merging that particular rail line together, so there was a small area that wasn't finished, it is going to be, it is completed. So now from Shanghai to China in 2013, you can travel wonderfully. But they had malintent, and this is where you have to understand Pearl Harbor and World War I and World War II, and even byzantine and ottoman empire histories you have to understand like the invasion of the chinese and the invasion of the indians into these particular areas um you know each one has its own designated territories now with that emergence all of a sudden this little woman leaves her regular compound uh, or or designated area because of her ottoman journal at that particular time comes out of here and runs into a courthouse and registers kanata means wings now those wings should have been pretty and that is what turkey was trying to do make it a pretty dolly flowery white little dove but in reality they became an omen beyond belief for canada because they were predator prey uh, for china and india who bum rushed canada why did they rush Canada? They rushed Canada because they immediately put down the Canadian media people thinking these people didn't do their jobs. As the United States went in, um, this so July 1st, 2013 is when she ran in uh, to the trademark office. Um, sorry, it was the day after July 2nd. Um, Approximately four weeks from that date, uh, some bouncy actress brought out uh, Kanata means wings and then ran back to Turkey, um, not realizing one is native, one is Turkish. And we're going to, if I do the, if I finish the Kanata journal, uh, you will understand that. Um, followed with China and India immediately doing fraud in Canada. Now, with them doing fraud, just on Kanata means wings, and this is where the Jews were divided, uh, they were able to buy out some of the biggest corporations. So, uh, you know, Google, Amazon, and they were able to not just buy out these corporations, just on one of Hannah's journals, but they were also able to buy out some of the banks, causing a rift between Europe and these guys. Now, these guys had a, a vision that Hannah was going to produce the Sun Collection. And then they were able to go around and go back to Africa and conquest South Africa, where one of the disciples lives. Now, they didn't realize, China and India didn't realize that Hannah blocked them at this front end. So even though they had about four or five of the journals they didn't have all of it they needed all of it to push their own actresses but they also didn't realize that these media kids love the disciple as a parent remember this this man is an orphan i mean these kids are orphans so they they see this man in south africa as you know their their father it caused a major rift to the point that exactly six months after Kanata means wings journal in Ontario. Um, about two barrels of purple bubbles were released right in front of Little India. Now we love Little India. Little India um, is located in Markham, probably about three blocks south of where Hannah's located. And they were so excited, you know, 
um, this person was going to do the real evolve. Everything was good until Europe burnt India and China. Uh, because did they do it on purpose? They didn't. It wasn't done on purpose. It was just Hannah blocked them. Now, why is Hannah blocking these two? Because she felt uh, that they should have gone a little bit slower. Now, she's an experienced person. Um, the speed that she's going at is because she's trying to actually finish the real Evolve. Something she saw uh, years before. Um, but for these guys, they were doing outright fraud. Now, that is one of the biggest problems as they bought out all these companies and they bought out a lot of the things here. It didn't stop there. Then it became inter-agency um, conflict amongst media people because because and this is where this is really funny because it's not just about hannah now there's a particular there's a particular home that hannah is about to inherit that uses from different regions of the world children it, um, that are orphaned and been raped and trafficked trafficked into that house and then distributed globally so they wanted that house they wanted Kanata means wings on the rest of the copyright. And then they started battling Europe. They started battling the United States. They started battling everyone to the point that poor Markham, this little Indian town, saw bubbles of bubbles of bubbles of some type of sample chemical purple substance. Horrifically. Now, it, am I lying? This is based off a true story only to find out that they were actually growing that substance. And today it's headed to Vancouver and Montreal ports. So what Europe is doing is actually trying to kill off this whole area. And it is beyond horrifically sad, beyond horrifically sad, because this is too much testosterone in the, in the war, war game. And, uh, you know, one little woman was just simply trying to do finish the real Evolve. That is all she is trying to do at this particular time. That they are sending that stuff. And that stuff, uh, you could be sitting in your garden and it expands a hundred times over and you just swallow it and you die. Um, so it's a massive red flag that I got tipped off of that, of those substances coming here. They just want that whole area gone. And what are they doing? They're actually killing off the Indian race, killing off the Chinese race. When I say killing off, like we're talking, these guys are over a billion dollars. They're protecting their position as Europe. Uh, should I be posting this on the internet because I got tipped off? Well, it's a red flag when you start harming humans. And there's a bigger environmental consequence too. So they don't care about the environment. You know, they can wait 500 years here and then conquest again. Um, but it's the fact that they're sending barrels of these, this purple expandable stuff that Hannah saw in 2013. It's a, it's really, really very unfortunate. Um, and